हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टुडेज लेक्चर प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन वेव मोशन दैट इज द वेव लेंथ फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड द वेव नंबर सो बिफोर सॉल्विंग द न्यूमेरिकल्स आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द फॉर्मूलाज दैट आई एम गोइंग टू यूज इन सॉल्विंग द न्यूमेरिकल्स टूडे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एस टॉक अबाउट द वेव As we all know, what is wavelength? The linear distance travelled by one complete crest and one complete trough is called wavelength. So, what formula I have given you? The wavelength frequency and the wave number. So, the formula was the frequency nu is equal to the c upon lambda, where the c is the speed of light. whose value is constant that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second now when you are going to put, put the value of wavelength in this formula please always keep in mind that you have to take your wavelength in meters because the speed of light is 3 to the power 8 meters per second have a focus on the units now you have to put the wavelength in meters in formula nu equal to c by lambda now let's talk about the wave number now what is the wave number it is a number of waves formed in unit distance length let that unit unit distance to be the 1 cm so wave number wave number is represented by nu bar it is always equal to the 1 divided by wave length and here you have to keep in mind that you have to put the value of wavelength in terms of centimeter because the wave number is the number of waves formed in unit distance i am taking that unit distance to be the 1 cm so we will use the wavelength in centimeters in the formula of wave number so now since let's solve the first numerical now the first numerical The question is saying that calculate the wavelength corresponding to the frequency of ninety-eight point seven megahertz. Now, frequency. Let's talk about first of all frequency. I have told you the frequency is the number of waves formed in one second. So the unit of frequency is per second, which has a, another name called hertz. now here the frequency is given to be 98.7 megahertz is in megahertz you have to convert your megahertz to hertz first it comes out to be 98.7 into 10 to the power 6 hertz now Now that's the frequency. Now what the numerical is saying? Calculate the wavelength. The question is asking to calculate the wavelength. So what's the formula for wavelength? So it comes out to be the formula was nu is equal to the c upon lambda. Here we have to calculate the wavelength, the lambda. So the formula will be now lambda comes out to be c divided by frequency. Now what's the value of c? is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now what's the value of frequency in the question it is 98.7 into 10 to the power 6 so this value comes out to be wavelength comes out to be 3.03 3 meters because the speed of light was 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second that's why you got your wavelength in the unit of meters so hopefully my dear students you got the first numerical now let's move to the second numerical now the second numerical the second numerical is asking calculate the wave number the new bar and the frequency new of yellow radiation having the wavelength of 5800 angstroms so first of all let's talk about the frequency let's talk let's calculate the frequency now 
the frequency the formula for frequency is c divided by lambda in question the wavelength is given to be 5800 angstroms now uh, lambda comes out to be 5800 angstroms and in meters it comes out to be 5800 into 10 to the power 10 meters so that's my wavelength now we we are going to use this the value of wavelength in calculating the frequency so i'm coming back to my formula i'm writing c now uh, new equal to c by lambda what's the value of c the c is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second divided by what's the value of wavelength in question it comes out to be 5800 into 10 to the power 10 meters your frequency frequency comes out to be 5.2 into 10 to the power 14 per second or you can say that it is 5.2 into 10 to the power 14 hertz the per second or hertz is the same things your frequency comes out to be 5.2 into 10 to the power 14 hertz now that that was my frequency we have calculated first now let's talk about the wave number now the wave number the wave number is new bar now the wave number is the number of waves formed in 1 cm length that means we have to put the value of wavelength in terms of centimeters it in question it is given to be 5800 angstroms so in centimeters this value the conversion factor is 10 to the power minus 8 so it comes out to be 5800 into 10 to the power minus 8 cm that's a wavelength now now the wave number it is 1 divided by lambda the wavelength it comes out to be 1 divided by 5800 into 10 to the power minus 8 that's your wave number your finally wave number comes out to be 1.72 into 10 to the power 4 per centimeter that means per centimeter the 1.72 tens to power 4 waves are forming in 1 centimeter length that stands for wave number and frequency the 5.2 into 10 to power 14 waves are forming per second that stands for frequency so this was the second numerical now i'm moving to the third numerical now my dear students we are talking about the radio station of india called all india radio the headquarters are at delhi now the question is the vividh bharti station of all india radio delhi broadcasts as a at a frequency of 1368 kilohertz so calculate the wavelength of electromagnetic radiations emitted by transmitter we have to evaluate the wavelength over here and so now let's solve this question first of all the frequency the frequency is given to be 1368 kilohertz converted to hertz it comes out to be 1368 into 10 to the power 3 hertz 1.361368 into 10 to the power 3 hertz it is 1368 into 1000 uh, kilohertz is converted to hertz now that's my frequency now we have to evaluate the wavelength in this numerical the formula is nu comes out to be c divided by lambda what's the the speed of light and it comes out to be 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by wavelength and it is equal to the frequency the frequency is given to be 1368 into 10 to the power 3 hertz so now 
let's calculate the wavelength the wavelength comes out to be I'm just uh, interconverting it I'm taking the wavelength to be there and this value I'm taking it to be here so it comes out to be 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 divided by 1368 into 10 raised to the power 3 now the wavelength comes out to be 2.19 2.19 into 10 raised to the power 2 meters hopefully my dear students you got the question uh, let me clear it once again what I have done in this question I'm solving it again for you uh, the formula was nu is C by lambda we have to evaluate the lambda over here so lambda comes out to be C divided by frequency so I have put down the value of C it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by what's the value of frequency given in the question it's 1368 into 10 to the power 3 and this answer comes out to be 2.19 into 10 to the power 2 10 to the power 2 meters so that was the question it was the easy one so now so now my dear students let's move to the fourth numerical now in fourth numerical the question is asking calculate the range of frequency of visible light from 3800 angstrom to 7600 angstrom so i have to evaluate the range of frequency from 3800 angstroms to 7600 angstroms first of all this is the wavelength given in the question and i have to evaluate the range of frequency now i'm converting my angstrom to meters it comes out to be 3800 into 10 raised to the power minus 10 meters now nu is equal to the c upon lambda what's the value of c is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second divided by 3800 into 10 raised to the power minus 10 meters so the frequency comes out to be 7.8 into 10 raised to the power 14 per second so that was the first the lower limit of frequency we got first of all the it was the lower limit of the wavelength given in the question and i have evaluated the frequency for this lower limit now let's talk about the higher limit which is given to be 7600 angstroms now let's convert it to meters first it comes out to be 7600 into 10 raised to power minus 10 meters now nu is equal to c upon lambda what's the value of c is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meters per second divided by what's the value of wavelength given in the equation it's 7600 into 10 raised to power minus 10 meters so frequency comes out to be for this value 3.9 into 10 raised to the power 14 per second so this is the range of frequency that is from 7.8 into 10 to the power 14 to 3.9 into 10 to the power 14 seconds per seconds so 7.8 into 10 to the power 14 per second that's hertz to 3.9 into 10 to the power 14 per second that's the again hertz so this is the range of the frequency so that were the numericals hope you all understood all the numericals if any of you is having some doubts in these numericals please do uh, write your doubts in the comment section of this lecture I hope you all understood today's lecture if any student wants to book a paid online one-to-one -one class to clear doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of this lecture please like subscribe and share my channel to maximum number of students don't forget to press the subscribe button stay blessed